just arrived in mozambique it's late in the night it's like 1 30 a.m in the morning and guess what i don't have where to sleep so <laughs> i don't have where to sleep to be honest and i'm so happy that these guys let me to sit here <laughs> so i guess i'm just gonna try to sleep in this couch as you're seeing it then i think i'll continue the story for you tomorrow when i have when i've got where to sleep and everything but um yeah i guess today we're gonna sleep in the couch for the next uh for the next four hours because it's like good morning everyone finally it's the next day after a long adventure to mozambique i still have my bonnet on and yeah finally it's morning um it's time to explore a little bit of maputo mozambique because uh right now i'm gonna be checking in in my I'm gonna be checking in in a hostel. Oh, welcome to Mozambique. Ooh, it's a lovely sunny day. Beautiful. Oh, I think my younger is here. Hi. Okay, let's go guys. and it's time to tell you the story how it started and everything how i ended up sleeping almost at the streets so because i started my journey from namibia uh the reason why i flew from namibia to um to mozambique is because i couldn't take a bus reason being i didn't want to go back in botswana i didn't want to go back to zimbabwe so if you want to come to mozambique either you pass via tanzania or you pass via zimbabwe so i didn't want to do that loop botswana zimbabwe i didn't want to go back behind and the other option is going through south africa then lesotho then eswatini then mozambique and uh yo you all know in my last video that I never got the visa for South Africa. Uh, if you didn't watch that video why I can't get a visa to South Africa, you can go and watch my video. So I book a flight ticket. First of all, uh, guys, on the internet, the information on the internet sometimes is not clear. So you have to do more research. You have to research a lot. And yet, I had two options to enter Mozambique, like the visa. Either I get it online or it's visa on arrival. Uh, I use this uh, website, it's called Visa to apply for the visa uh, for Mozambique, but guess what? Because um, it said in three days I would get my visa to Mozambique, but things, things kept on being complicated, and of course there are a lot of websites. Uh, so on that website it's $50 to apply for a visa for Mozambique, and other websites they were like 
200 dollars 150 dollars so i really don't know because i didn't get the clear information about e visa uh for mozambique so i decided for, to go for that website which was 50 dollars single entry 30 days and uh it didn't work out because i kept on messaging them my visa everything but no i know a lot of you are gonna be you're gonna say that why didn't you go to the uh the actual website of mozambique um i would say it's, it was a bit complicated i because uh, when i went to the actual embassy a website for mozambique the visa was something like 200 dollars and um at some point of course there are a lot of scammers on the internet i was like you know what i'm just gonna fly to mozambique my other option was to fly to eswatini but I changed my mind i was like i'm just gonna fly to mozambique and since the information say that you can as well get the visa on arrival i fly from uh Windhoek, from Windhoek to johannesburg and yo as i told you in my last video that the flight was delayed i was supposed to fly out of johannesburg at 6 30. i ended up flying out uh at around uh 9 50 almost 10. we flew to mozambique that is maputo to the airport and then yeah I, I entered maputo and everything at the airport and then at the immigration they told me that no it's visa on, it's it's e-visa we can't give you visa on arrival and i told the lady that no i read on the website that i can as well get visa on arrival and um uh, I stayed quite a long time at the airport. I was there for like uh, almost two hours, like trying to figure out things, think the process at the immigration. It took me two hours. So if you're Ugandan and you're planning to come to Mozambique, it's a hundred bucks dollars. After the funny thing, let me tell you, I didn't have a hundred dollars. I had ninety dollars because me, I thought even like on arrival, the visa is gonna be fifty dollars. I had only one ninety dollars. So I started looking for $10 because I couldn't go out to withdraw money or to exchange money. I couldn't do that because I didn't have a visa. They had not yet issued me a visa. So I was like, can I pay by card? The lady was like, no, it's only by cash and in dollars. So I tried to look for $10. Oh my God, it took me like 30 minutes. But uh, if you're favored, and if you're always nice to people so there is this guy that i was talking to like i don't know where he came from just having like a normal conversation about because he lives in uh, madagascar so the whole conversation was about madagascar and then uh we were at the airport because he was one of the last guys and he was flying with his friend who had also a visa issue because he got an e-visa when he arrived at the airport he was told that no that's not a real visa we can't accept that hope he got his visa to mozambique because i left him there but to cut the story short uh i talked to the guy whom i was having a chat with thank god that he was among the last person there were a few kenyans who were there and those guys also had issues so it was issue ish issue ish visa for everybody I told these kenyan guys please can you help me with 10 bucks they were like no we can't out of the blue i see this guy i'm like yo brother just help me with ten dollars then when when i get my visa i can pay you back when i withdraw the money money and then the, the guy was like no i don't have dollars right now but i have euros gave me the 10 euros i went and completed my visa that was a hundred dollars they stamped in my passport and then i moved out and guess what Drawn money to pay the guy the guy was like no it's okay i was so lucky to meet him because if it wasn't him oh my god i was gonna sleep at the airport i get a taxi driver and they because for them they had someone who was going to pick them and then uh this guy helped me out and he was like oh these guys are very trustworthy you can use them and blah 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 and guys by then it was like 2 a.m in the morning 2 a.m 1 30 a.m in the morning so this guy drives me to the hotel that i had booked to sleep that one night because to the following night i had booked at hostel because the previous night they didn't have rooms arrived at this hotel the guy didn't understand english at all 
one thing you should know that most people here speak Portuguese and then there is a lot of language barrier I arrived there and thank God that my tax driver knew how to speak English and like I tried to explain this guy that I booked on booking.com I have a reservation and everything and this guy was like I don't understand anything so my driver had to be the interpreter oh first, another thing by the way guys people here are so nice they are so friendly they wouldn't let you be stuck somehow and they were like they are so so friendly that's what I can say so if it wasn't my tax driver I wouldn't communicate to this guy because this tax driver made sure that I arrived safely and everything was okay with me uh, so the guy was like no the receptionist was like no we are all full we don't have rooms then I was like oh my god what am I gonna do and by that time I didn't have internet to book another place I didn't have Wi-Fi I didn't have anything and even at the hotel they didn't have Wi-Fi nothing and this guy tried to direct us to the next hotel uh, we went there and they didn't have rooms they were full so I was like and this guy didn't have didn't didn't know more accommodation that was around that place and to make matters worse I withdrew little money because if I would go if I would go far with the driver he was gonna ask me more money which I didn't have so the only option that I had is to stay at that same hotel and then uh, the driver was like the driver of course had to go I mean he had to continue with his business it's his business because he was like my sister time is money I have to go I was like okay it's okay you can't go and then uh, we asked this guy if I can stay there for those hours because it was like at around two by then three four five six until seven or eight and then the guy was like yeah it's okay it's fine but guys these guys were so nice plus the security guard because it was that guy the receptionist and two security guards they were so nice to me and everything they made they wanted even to make they they wanted to make for me coffee but I refused because I was so tired to take coffee and then um, we had a few conversation and stuff like that but to be honest I only slept one hour in the couch the other hours I, I couldn't sleep anymore but um, yeah people here are so lovely are so nice and I'm so happy to be in Mozambique I'm so excited to explore more and everything um, yeah that's the story that's how I ended up sleeping almost sleeping on the streets of Mozambique on my first day but likely enough I ended up sleeping at the reception <laughs> of, a, of, of, of a certain hotel yeah so just in case you're planning to come to Mozambique and you're an African or you're from East Africa make sure that uh, you have enough money from 50 to 100 dollars because you don't know how much they're gonna ask you and on top of that at least make sure that you get an earlier flight because the flight actually got an earlier flight but the flight was delayed that's the problem but then um, yeah everything went on well and yeah <laughs> and I'm so happy that those guys were so friendly and Maputo is safe like the people were just moving at night like people were selling stuff at night because at some point we just sat on the streets and started discussing with these guys like everyone was just free like walking around selling things at night people are from partying and everything it's so safe here and like people are like these guys were telling me so safe though communication was a bit hard I couldn't understand them but the security guard knew a little bit of English so that was really nice but anyway and who that's the end of the story <laughs> so next time if you're planning to start with Mozambique make sure at least you have like two reservations and everything maybe if you have money you can do airport pickups from from the hotel that you reserved to make life easier for you anyway and who and i think another problem is because that i booked like it's like i wouldn't say it's like a local local hotel because i mean it was on booking.com but i think uh it's because maybe it was like on the weekend and people are traveling and of course it's like christmas season a lot of people are traveling so most of the hotels are gonna be packed and full because people are on vacation and stuff like that but yeah i'm happy to be here and uh hope you've enjoyed this video hope you've learned something through this video 
and if you're planning your trip to Africa or southern part of Africa please go and watch my videos in the southern part of Africa and I wish you all the best of luck stay tuned for more videos from Mozambique and hopefully I'll be seeing you in my next one bye guys see you love you all oh actually I have to go and buy some food because I'm super super hungry I haven't eaten since since Johannesburg that was like uh, that was like 8 p.m. in the evening so I haven't eaten but I'm just having some coffee and right now it's like 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 11 a.m. something like that and uh, yo see you guys in my next one no games, baby, Bye. Don't change. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what